us health and we live to say glory to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to welcome every one of us here. First of all, I want to thank our pastor, Pastor Chi Edu. I want to thank you for this privilege he has given to the women of this ministry to hold this program. I say thank you, sir. God bless you in Jesus' name. I want to thank all our pastors in the house. I want to thank all our, uh, our elders. I want to thank all our fathers, our fathers, in fact, you people are our children. I want to thank all our invitees, everyone seated here. You are special. You are welcome in the presence of the Lord. And the Lord will do us good this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you all and God bless you. Now we are in for this year's conference. This year's women conference. We are so grateful to God. That God has been taking us from glory to glory, from height to height, from level to level, and He has brought us to this level. We say glory to His name in the name of Jesus. So I want us all to bow down, to bow our head down, to thank this God, to worship this God in our midst. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. You are God and God alone. Beside you, there is no one. Lord, you remain with our God. And forever we will serve you. We will serve you. I want to obey you. I want to obey you. The Lord will do it for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So this year's conference is the excellent woman. And the caption is uh, Proverbs 31. If we can all turn our Bible, I will be very grateful. Proverbs 31, verse 12. Where is the question? The question is, she will do his in 22. Said that he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. You are a good thing. For you to be his wife, you are a good thing. And if you are making him, you know, not to enjoy that goodness, that goodness that the Lord has given to you, because you are a gift. We are gifts to our husband. We are gifts from God to our husband. And if, and if our husband cannot enjoy that goodness of God in us, then what are we? What are we? But I want to say we are good for nothing. We will not be good for nothing in the mighty name of the Read, two are better than one. Because they have, when the two of them fall, one of them will be able to pull the other one. But if you are alone, if you are alone, I pray you will not be alone in the name of Jesus. What if you are alone and you fall down? Who will, who will bring you up? You know the name of Jesus. You know, there are so many things. There are so many ways that we just make our husband to feel lonely, as I said before, and he hates loneliness. Our single sisters here, it is the mind of God for you to be married. It is the thought of God for you. Because he said that the thought he has for us is the thought of good and not of evil to give us a expected end. Just keep yourself and the Lord will give you that right person in the mighty name of Jesus. Even our brothers, the same thing. Just keep yourself, believe, depend upon God, and God will bring that right person in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. And also, if you are, if you don't satisfy his sexual desire, I know that. First Corinthians chapter 7, 4 and 5, it reads, so that you may devote yourself to prayers and come together again so that Satan will not tempt you to sin because of your lack of self-control. You know, this was, you know, uh, Pharaoh told, the Hebrew, uh, told uh, those three wives, Shipra and Puga. But you know what they did? They didn't do it. They didn't do what Pharaoh did, uh, told, uh, told them. So Pharaoh now found out that the children were you know, the, the children were spared and he was not her children. There was no way we could kill the children. They didn't say right. They lied because they were really actually helping the women to give birth. And you know what God did? God said, because you women are we together, we are one. Yeah, we are together, we are one. Oh, oh boy. Thank you. 
of us, we come to church, we do all sorts of things, we sing in the choir, we preach. But here, when we are out there, let's see how our life reflects. Thank you.
comfort, you can dance with her bare feet, you can do all your balagan with the African mother and she'll still accommodate you. When you go astray, she will, she will instruct you with love, one hand will be pinching you and the other hand will be pampering you. That is our mother in Africa. Prosperity, 
these women are women of success. They will prosper and they shine like gold. No matter what they go through, they come at the end product as gold. Yes, Can we appreciate God for them? And we have they right here. It says they are pure. That's why they're in the hands of the Lord. Yeah. And when the Lord help them and continuously walk in the fear of the Lord, the way we saw the drama, they will not touch their life. Their life will be pure and quiet.
just to prepare something for their children and their husband to eat. Women, they are the only creature that can abandon their biological family and start up a new home with a stranger. When they are battling with the pains of pregnancy, yet they are busy looking after their husband and their children. Finally, above all, the experience in our churches and ministries have shown that the backbone of every church, of every ministry, and any living assembly is women. They can fast so and pray better than men, even though I have not seen it in this place. I want to see women but, but fast on their fasted. own, organize fasting on their own and pray for themselves. No wonder they were the only one who we're, were there. We are secretive. And where Jesus was crucified, and where he was buried, that's why Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he decided to show himself first. God bless you in Jesus' name. And finally, before I hand back the mic to the person who gave me the mic, thank you for the opportunity, women. Because my, you can see them, you can see them. God bless you, God bless you. You actually agree with my points that these women are always working to make sure that the family is kept together. So because my wife, my beautiful wife is involved in this uh, victory women, I want to hear, support what you are doing with 500 shepherds.
but you should think about your, your inner person is the one serving God. Your inner person is the one that is going to stand in judgment day. So you should work on yourself, work on your inner person, which is to be male, to be kind, to be gentle, to have all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And this is going to become for the women, as mothers, as sisters, and even our family, and in our workplace, and everywhere that we go. May God help us to keep this word. Amen. The woman attire, that is the clothes we have. The woman attire, the clothes we have, and put it in inside the church and outside the church. My guest is taken from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 11. He said, Likewise, wife must be ready to live in this. Not slanderous, temperate, and faithful in all things. Not slanderous. We just watch the drama we perform just now. I don't know if everybody comes to the church, but we don't know the kind of character they portray. Some people, we have a black and character in us, we have a bad biting, we have a gossip, a gossipers, we have people who talk bad about us to somebody inside the church and outside the church. We come here, Sister Willie, how are you? I'm fine, you're looking good, you're looking good today. Sister, I will go outside. Can't you see our sister? My very best sister, Willie. What is, what is wrong with her? Is she the only one? But fight, we don't need this in the house of God. Even outside, church, outside the house of God, we don't need it in our house, we don't need it. Another topic says, Thank you, we, we should all be calm in everything we do. We should be sober in everything we do, in the church and outside the church. We should not be us temper. We should have a self-control. You can see how the Jesus, when he came back from the wilderness, he, he had the self-control. That was why Satan could not defeat him. Satan tried to tempt Jesus. He tempted him. But because Jesus had the self-control, he defeated uh, Satan. Likewise, uh, Adam and Eve, they lacked they lack self-control. That was why the devil had control over them. And that is what we are seeing we are today. Because of the self-control, they lack. The third one is uh, faithfulness. We have to be faithful in everything we do. Inside the church, we have to be calm. We have to become behave as a woman of God. We have to be good to our children, even to our husband, just as our mommy has said. We have to be respectful. I brought them. And that reminds me, there was a time we were invited to a program. Mommy and daddy was there. So we, st we stayed there about 30 or an hour. Daddy looked at mommy and said, if you are ready, let's go. And mommy will smile on her face that day. She looked up at daddy and said, okay, if you are ready, let's go. Wow, I was moved and overwhelmed. I said, God. Because if it was me, we just came there for 30 minutes, we were not eating some rice. There was no even that I was not eating with some rice. I was not eating anything. We said, you should go. No, I will not go. But because of that attitude, mommy portrayed that day. Mommy stood up and followed that day. Can they be fight in their house? No. Well, they would not be fine because she respected the husband that day. She adored him. She honored him. And while I was watching her, they didn't even know. I would listen as to you, Daddy. Wow, God. Even in church, you cannot manage. 
You will bear with me that if our pastor does not have wisdom, he will not manage us with our different faces. He will not manage us with our different problems that we bring to church. It is because we are seek wisdom. It's because we are seek wisdom. That's why we celebrate us like mothers today. It goes along to verse 16. It says, Long life is on her right, riches and honor on the love. When you have wisdom, you have riches. When you have wisdom, you have honor. When you have wisdom, you have long life. And to crown it all, if you are a man, if you are a woman, if you are a pastor, if you are an evangelist, seek wisdom from above, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Amen. 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 This one, I can't. I'm not used to it at all. But by his grace of God, I can do it. I want to thank this line, brother. First of all, he's the one that makes me to look like this. Without him, I won't be looking this way. Thank him. They said, my own said, Proverb 31 31. Give her a credit that she deserves it. Give us credit. We didn't say pass. We didn't say fail. Credit that we deserve the credit. We are supposed to be loved. From the childhood, when you are heavy, pregnant, your shape will change to another thing. Before you carry that baby for nine months, you will get yourself. Look at that, my sister. Over there, you will see her very lovely before, but since she gets better, uh, she will change somehow now. When you give birth from the childhood, from the infant, the baby you are going to take care of her till she grows, they will call her a girl. From the girl, she might become a lady, from a lady to the woman, from the woman, she will become a wife. From a wife, she will direct, she will teach, she will be the she will be the prayer warriors, she will be everything that you think of. She will take care of the homes. They will call you from all angle. As I'm here now talking to you, my phone is ringing. What, what am I going to do? They are with their father, but they are calling me up and down. Is their father not there? Hey, my father is there now. Please, mommy, what are we going to do? We are the prayer warriors. We are the pain in the family. What who can do without us? No, but Look at my hand. They gave it to us this morning. <laughs> they say we one miss, well done. We love you all. We appreciate all. We are supposed to be loved. We are supposed to be appreciated. We are supposed to be carried high because we deserve it. Anybody who can do without us is making a very big mistake. Without us, there is a very big mistake. Without this person standing here, the home is not complete. <laughs> So we are asking God to keep on blessing us, Amen. keep on guiding us, Amen. keep on protecting us, Amen. keep on giving us our heart desires Amen. so that we can go higher and higher and higher in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When she talks to one native doctor, let her say, she go. She go for another native doctor, let her say, she this woman don't go to the best hospital for this time. Go to the hotel and say they don't go to the name of the sickness. No, 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 no. Every day I'm probably, it's every day. This woman don't go for the very prophet hand. Prophet there and say they will make it a rock and for me now. They make it a rock and for me now. They tell her, say, may she go like that a yellow card. She likes to make a yellow card and finish it. Who are you, praise me, I 
women of nature. They are excellent women in God's house. Right. Women who does not gossip. Right. Women who will lay down yourself for the work of Christ. Right. And for this, they are about to present a song to you entitled Peace. Because of the sacrifice of Jesus that he made on the cross, on the cross for us, he became our Jehovah Shalom, which means Jesus is peace. Amen. Amen. Listen and be blessed.
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. It's not a sanctuary on fire. May we be blessed as we go home in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we even have a cake here that was presented with the youth. I've already described the cake. So we are not going there again. We are just going direct to the cutting of the cake because of the time in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are going to, to spell the word love because we are all joining Christ through love. Okay? So give me air. Yeah. Give me L. Yeah. Give me O. Oh. Give me V. Let's begin to bless them. We bless this women. Begin to bless them.